Aloha, I'm Vice Admiral Phil Cullum, Deputy Chief of Naval Operations for Fleet Readiness and Logistics. You may have noticed an increase in the number of Navy people in uniform from many different countries around the islands in the last few weeks. They're a part of the Rim of the Pacific exercise, also known as RIMPAC. During this exercise, which is the largest international naval exercise in the world, we will be making history when the U.S. Navy demonstrates a great green fleet. A nuclear-powered aircraft carrier and its air wing, a guided missile cruiser, and two guided missile destroyers will conduct operations using a 50-50 advanced biofuel blend. This is an important step in reducing our dependence on foreign oil and achieves the Secretary of the Navy's goal to demonstrate a great green fleet in local operations by 2012. This demonstration also underscores the importance of energy efficient technologies such as solid state lighting and stern flaps for enhancing combat capability of our warships. Greater efficiency also allows our ships to achieve greater range and fewer underway replenishments, thereby reducing our vulnerability at sea. As Secretary Mabus said, we have to be, and we will be, relentless in our pursuit of energy goals that will continue to make us a more effective fighting force and our military and our nation more energy independent. Our nation and our Navy can afford no less. Thanks for listening and aloha.